Hello my friends! I am back with another video on where to find the best equipment in Xenoblade Chronicles. I am going to organize this video from Light, Medium, Heavy, and Mechanis Armor. Additionally, I will also include the best weapons for each character towards the end of the video, so make sure to stick around until the end. Before we hop in, smash that like button and subscribe if you like this type of content. It really does help out the channel and I really appreciate it guys. This guide is made for post mechon core, so if you are just starting out, then please be warned that there are spoilers. All the armor drops come from silver chests. Make sure to equip rookie skill, lucky me, to increase the drop rate of silver chests. One last tip is to say before opening a chest, if you do not get the results from the chest that you want, just load back in until you get the drop. Alright, let's begin. Starting off with the Light Armor Set, we have the Hyrax Armor Set and the Rondine Armor Set. The Hyrax Armor Set has more physical defense and the Rondine Armor Set has more ether defense. The Light Armor Set can pretty much all be found at the bonus leg, which is very convenient. To begin with the headgear, the Hyrax Cap and the Rondine Cap can both be found at the Tefer Cave. The Brabalon Vang drops them. It can be found at the Bone Corridor. For Melia, she has the Master Glasses, which provides her with Aether Plus and has more defense than any regular armor set. This can be found at Prison Island from the Giant's Chest. Next for the top, the Rondine top can be found from the Royal Caterpillars at the Windy Cape on the Bionis Leg. The Hyrax cap can be found from the Dark and Lighthawks near the Regal Bridge. Moving on to the arms, you can find the Rondine gloves from the spiders inside the Windy Cave. Conveniently, you can also find the Hyrax gloves from the Tempest Vangs nearby. The Rondine Bottoms can be found from the Dark Hawks and Light Hawks once again. The Hyrax Bottoms can be found from the Lahar Flamis near the lake area around Jabo's Rock. Keep in mind, they only spawn at night. You can conveniently find the Hyrax Shoes from the Lahar Flamis. For the Rondine Shoes, they spawn from the spiders at the Windy Cave. Alright, moving on to the Medium Armor. The best set is going to be the Lancelot Armor Set. It has a good mix of physical and ether defense. The Lancelot gear can be found at the Gogols at Satoru Marsh. The Lancelot armor can be found from the Aora Telethia at Air to Sea. The easiest one to find is by teleporting to the Salt Narsil Island, and it is the big Telethia near the building. The best medium armor gloves does not go to the Lancelot set. Instead, that goes to the Glory Gauntlets. Glory Gauntlets provide the characters with haste. Since haste is considered a weapon gem, having it on all physical damage dealers is extremely useful. Glory Gauntlets can be found from all super bosses in the game. If you really want the Lancelot Gauntlets, they can be found from the Arel Telethia on the Latil Shore. Lancelot Leggings can be found from the Asara Telethia Air Sea. One is located by the Central Seal Island. Finally, the Lancelot Shoes can be found from the Gogols near the North Radio Bridge on the Bionis Leg. Heavy armor provides the character with the most defense, but has the downside of having a lot of weight. Make sure to equip skills that lower the weight so you won't run into any accuracy problems. The best heavy armor equipment is probably one of the most tedious equipment sets to get. The Ledios armor set is the best set, but only the chest, bottom, and gloves have a gem slot. They can be found from a quest exclusive monster. This quest can only be obtained once you have fully resurrected Colony 6. Additionally, you must have a 95 completion status before the quest pops up. The quest is Defend Colony 6 Demon. The equipment drops from the Demon King Dragonia, but since there is only one, you can only get one chest drop. If you want to get multiple, then you will have to use Ricky to steal the equipment from the Demon King. This is very tedious. I recommend that you equip him with double attack and haste so he can get his meter faster. This is a very slow process, but the only way that I know of to get multiple items in this equipment set. Next up, we have the Rex Helm, which can be found from the last Rogel near the Crevice Waterfall. Since we are already here, the Field Ultrich drops the Rex Greaves. To locate this area, you must go through the Windy Cave. Thankfully, the best Mechanis Armor set can be all found at the same area. The Glory Slavos at the Three Sage Summit drop them. The only important ones are the head, bottom, and leg piece. The best Mechanis top is Speed Frame 5, which can be obtained from the quest Battling Brutes. Lastly, there are the drones, and the best drones is the Sedna drones. Even though it does not have a gem slot, it provides the most damage for her talent art. This can be found from the quest Broken Aether Furnace. 
Now that we are finally done with the armor set, we can finally move on to the weapons. All the late game weapons are found inside golden chests. I highly recommend you guys to equip the additional gold chest spawn rate skill from Ricky. We first start off with Dystopia. Dystopia has the highest max damage out of all of Seven's blades. You will need to equip attack stability and attack plus to make the most out of it. This can be found from the giant spider on top of the Exile Fortress at Satoro Marsh. You will need to complete the quest A Giant's Treasure to access this location. Next up we have Shulk with the Monado 3. I currently don't have it because I have not beaten the game yet, but it is by far his best weapon. This can only be obtained by defeating the final boss and then starting a new game plus. He also has other options which can be obtained from the lady inside Junks. She has a bunch of quests that will give him the weapons. Ryan's best weapon is Atomic Driver found by the Goldie Chromar at Aerith Sea. To find these guys, you must teleport to Salt Narseal Island, then jump off the ledge behind you. Swim to the island and you will find these guys. Dunban's best weapon is Wyvern Cutlass found at the same area. Instead of the Goldie Chromar, it drops from the Trava Komar. This weapon has great block and great crit chance. For the last three weapons, they can all be found from the same area. Sharla's weapon is going to be the Eternal Rifle, Ricky's weapon is going to be the Comet Biter, and Melia's is going to be the Sun Staff. Comet Biter and Sun Staff both have good block chance and good crit chance. They can all be found at the Alchemist from the Aurel Telethia. That's all we have for today guys. I hope you guys get your drops and thanks for watching. If you guys like this type of content, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel.